Hey there guys, so today I'm back with yet another video and I'm going to be showing you how to make a rocker card and these are the equipment you will need a Pruitt stick a pencil a ruler, I'm just using a small one but you can use a large one if you want to and then I've pre-die cut these shapes using the die cutting machine but you can, if you don't have one, just print it out from Google Images and then cut around it using a scalpel. So I've got um, three different sizes of circles with a scalloped edge. So I've got a small, medium and large. And um, I've made the middle one the same colour as the outer one, but then this middle... Um, uh, the middle layer is a different one just to give it a pop of colour and uh, just make sure that they're different sizes so it creates a clear border and then I have a snowflake which is just going to be the accessory that goes in the middle so the card will look like that when it's open and laid out so what you're going to need to do is just have your biggest circle with the scalloped edge. It doesn't have to have a scalloped edge but I think it looks a lot more better and decorative than just a plain circle. Now I do recommend you stand up for this then you can um, just see it more clearly. We're going to fold it in half very carefully like that and you don't have to have long nails for this and just run your nail along the crease if you don't want to do this um, then you can get special folding tools but also another trick I learned is with scissors on the bottom of the blade where it's flat you can just run the scissors like that don't run them towards you because it will um, rip the card. If you run it away from you then it creates a nice and sharp fold. Now open that back up and put it to one side and we're going to do the same with the other two scalloped circles. Folding it in half nice and evenly and then making sure that crease that fold is very sharp. Now the smaller ones I find a bit more tricky but so the first one that you do might not be as good as you'd like it to be but practice doesn't look perfect and I have practiced this quite a lot today. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your middle piece which should be the very colourful one and flip it over so it's upside down to the side you want it showing get your print stick and on only one side you're going to glue it so on one side of the fold now this is where the ruler can come in if you're not that good at um, lining things up then just put your ruler there on the fold so you can't glue on the wrong side. Now you're going to take your main piece and see how it's folded like this. I'm going to make sure I have it this side up and I'm going to line up the folded edges and make sure this is in the centre of your card and press down with one hand over the other or you can put it under a pile of books. I would um, recommend Pruitt Stick more than PVA glue for this because it's more of a delicate project. So, so far you just fold this over and leave this sticking up. The fold is only to make sure you know where to glue and it's so far like that. Now open it up again and we're going to do the same with this. Turn it over, line your ruler up to the fold 
and use your Pritt stick to glue. Be quite generous with the amount of glue you put on. But make sure that you're gluing it down to the same side, otherwise this will not work. So this is where the flap is, so I need to make sure the flap is on the same side. So again, lining up that crease and making sure it's in the centre, hand on top of the other and pressing it down. This is what it looks like so far, so when you fold your card it should look like this, which I think is really pretty, especially with the scalloped edge. Now we're going to open it back up and add any decorations you want to the centre. I've gone for a snowflake and um, because this I'm thinking of being a, more of a Christmas card. And I'm applying the Pritt stick directly onto the card because when it dries it becomes see-through. And putting on my snowflake... making sure it's nicely stuck down and again one hand over the other. Don't forget to put the lid on your glue stick. Fold over your card on the outer side and there you have it, a rocking card. Okay guys, so this is what it should look like as the finished product. I really like how mine turned out. And these are some others that I made um, just now, so you can do loads and loads of different sizes, different colours, and I really enjoy how personalised these are. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the like button below the video. Thank you for watching.